Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Hello again everyone and welcome back. About to get stuck into day number 10 here. We've got a lot of trolls to kill today to get ourselves our 10th Slayer task done and get on with whatever comes next after that. We've still not got any Renar seeds. I'm just curious what the going price is at the minute. It's 25.5k. I think it's probably worth getting some but We'll leave it for now because we do have Toad Flux for today. Let me just sell this shit. And then we'll get ourselves to a birdhouse run. Looks like we'll get to level 59 at Hunter tomorrow. Which means we can finally move on from these mahogany birdhouses to you ones. Which is both, of course, higher XP and more chance of bird's nests. But also a lot cheaper. U logs are a lot cheaper than mahogany logs. So, basically, all of our costs to keep this going uh, evaporate. Okay, birdhouse is done. On to the farm run. Okay, I'm gonna start with Fortis. Why the hell not? Like I say, our profit from these toad flax is not going to be as high, especially not if they all die. Hopefully, they don't though. And it's just this one. I'm gonna head straight to the leprechaun to get the compost. Here's a live one. Yeah, because a, a Renar weed is worth like 8k, like seven, seven to 8,000, and a Toad Flax is worth just over 3,000. But we spend like 25k each on Renar seeds and 500 GP on Toad Flax. This is zero expenditure, basically. Grimy ones worth less than clean ones as well, so it's worth cleaning them. Ah, five out of six isn't too bad. Our regular is time of about seven minutes. Did spend a little bit of the GE at the start of the day. That's 39 farming. Always nice to see the little irrelevant gains come in. I'm going to go back to Ferox. Get a reset. And then get my ass over to the trolls. About 124k in total flocks. Okay, it's still like, it's like half the profit we'd make on Renars. So we definitely want to get some Renars tomorrow, really. Right. Come back here. Oh, I'm gonna take this because we're gonna be flicking all fucking day. That about it? Runes? Rune pouch? Okay, this is what I'm going with, y'all. Hopefully, uh, I'm not forgetting anything here. I'm hoping to not leave the spot once we get there. And I've got my fingers crossed. Oh, I forgot the climbing boots. A rune boots gonna work? I don't think they are, are they? Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. I hate my life. Okay. Take two. I don't know if there's a better spot to actually kill the trolls than we were using yesterday. There were like four or five in that room. The only problem is they were multi-combat, so and they had a very small aggro range. So they weren't necessarily getting straight back on me. And you know, attacking people while you're flicking is kind of annoying. But I have to kill them in the troll stronghold, I think. I don't know if outside counts. Actually, that's a good point. If we just go outside and they're still highlighted, we'll see, won't we? Okay, it's not Molly's out here either. I swear it. I swear it's Molly's. Because they all attack you at the same time. Is this not Molly's? It's not. We're here now, so I'm just going to stay here rather than running back in. As long as it does count towards my slayer task. Yes, it did. <sighs> These guys are just not being aggressive to me. I'm wondering if inside might be slightly better. Because it seemed like a more condensed space. Is this guy gonna attack me? Okay. This is a really thin corridor, so maybe it's good to do here. I don't have a lot of hope for us finishing the task today, though. We've got to get 140 kills. Oh shit, that's all of them. Okay, yeah, no, that should be down the floor. That didn't spawn quick enough, I don't think. 
there were like five in that small room I was in yesterday. That's got to be the be best spot. I just wanted to scout a little bit and make sure I wasn't missing anywhere that was in multis because that's way easier if you don't have to manually attack them. Might be best to just roam a bit as well like we have been doing. It's just hard to maintain my prayer while I'm doing that, that's all. I think I'm going to have to let my potion doses run the entire way down as well if I want to stay here for the full session. Oh, why did that guy not attack me? I was right next to him. I couldn't even bring a cannon here, could I? Because, again, not more is. I mean, I could bring a cannon and sit in another room, but I don't even know if you can place a cannon here. You'd be able to in the outside area, wouldn't you? We don't really have a mill spare to invest, though, right now. They do die reasonably quick, at least. Oh, there is 38 Slayer coming in. Made my way back to this room so that I had the five spawns all close. 38 Slayer is actually a requirement for another quest I've been considering doing. A Taste of Hope. If you want to see me do that quest on the one I limit locks, let me know in the comments. Maybe I will. I probably shouldn't have brought a full invent of food, pretty much. Because we're, we're only using it if we make mistakes. And there is, like, herb drops here and stuff. Maybe it was dumb of me to assume I could do it in one trip with the drops that come in. Because if we get regular herbs, not that we have been... Oh, brimstone key, that's huge! Who knows what that's going to be worth? Could get all sorts from the brimstone chest. Double 11s, that's nice. We are slicing through these, to be fair. Can't remember where we started, 155. So we've done 36, including the ones we did yesterday. Been here for like 10 minutes today, two minutes yesterday. Well, maybe five. We got like 10 done yesterday. When I get down to 110, I'll time how long it takes me to do 10. I think I'm gonna have to repot though. Plus one, plus two is not really what I'm looking for. I'll tell you what, my flicking's fucking awful today. I keep missing so many. Ooh, we got an Addy Med Helm. It's not bad. Okay, 34 minutes. We had 110 left to kill. Let's see, if we can get a read on how, many, how long it takes to kill 10, then we'll know how long it'll take us to kill 100. And we'll be able to figure out if we'll get this done today. I don't think we will, but I think we'll get most of it done. And there's 58 strength. Always the icing on our cake whenever we're training Slayer and we get combat levels along the way. So I will remind you all, this is not my method of training combat stats. This is my method of locking my method of training combat stats. <sighs> if anything, we're getting a head start on our training. By doing this Slayer to unlock the method. Like, I could have done the entire thing just at Scurrius and it would have been more than fine, but at that, at that point I would have spent like a week at Scurrius already and still have maybe a couple weeks to spend there, whereas, you know, we've done a bunch of different Slayer tasks, we've still got some Slayer tasks to do and some quests along with the Slayer. We've got the Sulfur Nagua in Perilous Moons as our main training method once we unlock them, but once we've got them, we're not just going to be camping them out. We can spend our time switching between those, training our melee stats and training our magic through. Hopefully bursting. I haven't 100% figured out what I want to burst yet. It's looking like skeletal monkeys, but that doesn't feel too good. So I may just have to force myself to do the quest lines for Defender of Varrock so I can burst armored zombies. And then we'll at least be paying for our rune costs then with the loot that we get. Okay, around about four minutes to do ten. So that makes about 40 minutes. So we'll be close to the end of our task today, but we're not going to finish it. Pretty sure we will get to 40 Slayer today though, which is nice. If we do get to 40, I may leave the task, go start Royal Trouble, and then come back to the task after we've done Royal Trouble. Because we'll still be doing Slayer training after Royal Trouble anyway, to get up to 48 from 40. But why not go break my day up so it's not just an entire session at Trolls? Because we're only a few kills off the next Slayer level, so I reckon we'll still have like 20 minutes on the clock maybe. Maybe just less than by the time we hit 40. We'll see. I'm not going to lie, I need an excuse not to be flicking right now, because my wrist has been fucking killing me the last couple of days. I was trying to kill demonic gorillas yesterday, 
and my wrist was just hurting. I just kept having to take a break, like every 10 gorillas. Did an entire slate task though, and didn't get any zenites still. I'm at over 1400 KC with only a single zenite. It's supposed to be one in every 300. There's 39 Slayer on this account though, enough of me complaining about my dryness for Zenites. The next level is coming in 40 kills, so we'll still have about 52, 53, something like that to finish off. It's time estimating, I'm like, saying it's going to take 15 minutes though, I don't know if it's worth going to start Royal Trouble. They have stopped aggroing me now though, so I'm having to manually attack each one, which is a bit annoying. I'm going to report. Look how close this guy is looking me in the eyes. Just like staring directly into my soul. What, you think you can see through that mask, mate? It's like, bro, why are you leaning forward so much? Just back up a bit, I can smell your breath. Fucking stinks. You've been eating humans all day. Getting some okay drops here, to be fair. A couple snake grass seeds, a couple decent herbs. We're at least paying for our super pots, if nothing else. And the prayer pots that we're using, because I have used a couple of doses. Probably gonna have to use another. Ooh, got an insult troll head. So we're due a slayer level in 20 kills, but we're also due a strength level in 28 kills. And with the amount of time on the clock, you know, we're gonna have 12 minutes on the clock by the time we get the slayer level. It's not really enough time to do anything meaningful on Royal Trouble. Whereas if we just stay here for the extra time and carry on killing trolls, we'll get the strength level. We'll have plenty of time to go do our birdhouse run. Suck it up and buy some Renars. Just in case they go up, back up to 28k. So I think I'm going to stay till I get the strength level, at least. Be awesome if we got another brimstone key or two. Those could be... They could be fuck all, but they could be really good. Like, we could just get pure essence. But we could get something really valuable. I think it's time to report on this dose down. My flicking has actually been diabolically bad today been super inconsistent. I should probably be picking up the coal, right? It's noted. We've got invent space now. I did let some despawn earlier because I thought it was just three, but if it stacks up, it stacks up, doesn't it? There's 40 Slayer. We can now do Royal Trouble. And we will be doing it tomorrow, but I'm going to stay here. I'm going to stay till there's like five minutes left on the clock. Because all we really need to do is go do bird houses and then maybe sell some shit at the GE, you know. May as well pick that up. Oh, I might have invent space. Mm, maybe I'll leave when I get the strength level, actually. Just because my invent's so full. I really want to, like, drop sharks and crown ones because they are worth GP. And there is the strength level, 59. I will just finish this troll. We'll leave us with 45 left to do, which is about 18 minutes back here at some point. Nothing too major. Let's get out of here. Rabbit birdhouse is even done yet. They are not for another minute. But it's all groovy. Let's just have a little look-see if there's anything... We want to buy at the GE for this. No, I think we're just going to head straight to our birdhouse run. And we'll worry about Royal Trouble tomorrow. Maybe we'll start it a little bit today after we've done the birdhouses and sold shit. Uh, in fact, we want wealth, don't we? Rough haul on the nest this time. Okay, over to the GE. Looks like we need to sell this wealth as well. Take that off. Let's make sure we've got all our sellables together. We want the toad flax, we want our cash so we can see about how much we have. Get all the other random bits of loot from that trip. Uh, I think I've decided I'm actually going to sell the warp scepter back. It's just not as good as an Ibans at this low magic level. At a higher magic level it's fine, but I'm fine with my Ibans for now. Don't use that many death runes, so... Okay, we're at 758k. No one mil after cancelling that Renar seed order, but we are gonna need to. Okay, I'm gonna go with 26k, that's the most I'm paying. And I'll do six at a time because they might go down. Oh, are you serious? Okay. One. Are the rest gonna buy? Please? There we go. 
do we need anything at all? Five coal or a pickaxe, combat gear, any, any poison. We don't need shit, do we? Okay, we got our NARS for tomorrow. We've got 800k. I'm gonna go ahead and get all the stuff that I would need for a birdhouse run out of the bank ready. Right, let's go to miscellany. Pretty much just gonna cut some trees and then top up my coffers here. Start the quest, but not really much to do. We're a pretty decent day. We didn't finish the task, but we did get up to 40 Slayer, which is not bad at all. Apparently we, wow, we got 70k XP today. Definitely good. Almost 9k Slayer XP, 12k hit points, 36 in strength, very nice indeed. A customary 7k Hunter. I don't feel like it adds up to 68, but it must. I guess it does. Not bad at all. Hopefully we do actually get our approval up and have time to put some more money in the coffer. I don't think I'm going to collect it because I don't want to... Like, I want to stack the days up that it's been... You know what I mean? Stack the resources up so it's multiple days. And then when I've done Royal Trouble and I get my extra workers, I'm hoping that it will count them for all the days that I did before Royal Trouble. So if I had three days stacked up, I'm hoping I get three days worth of all of my new workers, not just three days of my current workers, like I would if I just took them out now one at a time. That's the thought process anyway. Man, this is so slow. Certainly getting through this grind. Another 5k Slayer XP will put us close to level 42. We should get 42, maybe even 43, who knows, off the troll task when we finish it off. We'll only have a few more levels to go at that point to unlock our goal. And then it's time for our combat training to actually start. We'll probably be 60 strength and close to 60 attack by that point. I want to get up to 60 attack as well so we can unlock dragon weaponry and have a DDS as a spec. Because the nice thing about the Sulfur Nagua isn't, isn't just the Sulfur Blades that do an extra 4 damage per hit splat, it's everything. So like, even a DDS spec does an extra 4 damage per hit splat against them as default, which is just super cool. So any weapon that hits fast or hits twice is better against them, which is why it is our plan. I don't know how good it's actually going to be, but figured there's no better place to test it than one hour limit locked where we're trying to get the most out of everything at all times. Gonna put 390k in, seems like a reasonable amount, 582. Okay, and then we want to talk to him, get this quest started, talk to the wife, hot lesbian action coming up. Damn, that fade to black really, oh shit, have I entered a cutscene? Oh, I did not mean to do that. What do I do? Do I just close rune light? I feel like that'll just exit the cutscene. Can I click out of it? Just to, like, cancel the cutscene so I have to do it again. I'm going to close rune light. I don't know what else to do. I feel like my character's still logged in, but... Uh, that was a weird one, y'all. I did not mean to enter a cutscene by accident. I totally spaced on the fact that there was one coming. Uh, I guess that's it for today's episode. Make sure you leave a comment down below and a like on the video and a subscribe on the channel and all the groovy things that I always ask you to do because you're lovely and you love me. Other than that though, look after yourselves, be lovely to one another. I'll see you on the next one.